There's some new updates on the Mr. PlayStation Core. The developer has come up with a way for analog output to work. This is great for owners of CRT TVs that want that authentic retro look. It still needs some tweaking, but he's going to further fine tune the analog output. An NTSC mode was also added for proper NTSC refresh rates. On his Twitter, he's showing off the NTSC mode with what I believe is Rage Racer. All I have to say is wow. It's all very smooth and I'm excited to see more progress. There's been some progress on the Toaplin Zero Wing Core for Mr. The developer has made some sound improvements by using Greg Taylor's OPL3 Core. The OPL3 chip is an FM sound chip developed by Yamaha, used on PCs and some arcade machines. By using this OPL3 Core, there is some percussion in the game's music that wasn't playing before. Zero Wing is an arcade shoot 'em up by Toaplin. The game's European port on the Mega Drive reached meme status with the All Your Base Are Belong To Us scene. This core of the arcade game is still in development and hasn't been released yet. D3F Mod Design has a new video out for its Mr. Mini ITX Ironclad Plus board. This board is a replacement for the standard Mr. Add-on boards, but also gives you the ability to put your Mr. setup on any standard Mini ITX, Micro ATX, or ATX case. So you basically have limitless case options. In his video, he goes over some of the features of the board, so go check it out if you're interested. And also check out D3F Mod Design's website for more information. The Switch now kind of has an official Sega Saturn emulator for you to load your own Saturn games with. How is this possible? Well, recently, some Saturn games were released on the Switch. But instead of porting the games to the Switch, the developer created a Saturn emulator to run the games. As a result, some hackers were able to figure out how to load other Saturn games. A lot of games work smooth and much better than the Switch's unofficial Saturn emulator in RetroArch. It looks like the Switch emulator is based on the closed source SSF emulator on PC. There does seem to be some input lag in the emulator and you do need to hack your Switch to do this, but this seems like a cool way to increase your Switch's library of games. This is a cool bit of history. Ed Boon, one of the creators of Mortal Kombat, has posted a behind the scenes video on how the Scorpion character was filmed. The game used digitized graphics which meant that every character was filmed in real life. That footage was then digitized to a computer for further editing to make it suitable for the game. You can tell just how close the final characters look like the film footage. The video is on his Twitter account and the quality is pretty good considering that it looks like it was filmed on VHS. He further goes into more details about the filming and the making of the game and teases us about releasing more footage like this. I certainly look forward to more stuff like this. There is a Space Cadet Pinball decompilation project on GitHub. The goal of this project is to reverse engineer the Space Cadet Pinball game that was included in some older versions of Windows. Through this reverse engineering, new ports to other systems were created. You have the Nintendo Switch port, an Android port, a web playable port, and more. There are also instructions on building your own port for modern Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. You will need the original game resources from an old Windows installation to get this to work. Space Cadet Pinball was a very entertaining pinball game. It originally came as part of the Microsoft Plus add-on software for Windows 95, but eventually it was included in future versions of Windows. I spent a lot of time procrastinating in college due to that game. An FPGA replacement chip for systems that use the 6502 CPU is being created. The goal of this project is to use a universal accelerator for 6502 and 65CO2 based host computers. Just plug it into the CPU socket. The only thing the FPGA board needs to know about its host is the memory map. Up to 16 memory maps can be stored in the FPGA. Current supported systems are some chess computers, the Apple II, and the Commodore PET series of computers. I would really like to see projects like these evolve to support more systems and other chips. Just imagine a project that recreates all the chips on a Nintendo Entertainment System so you can build your own from scratch. There are no plans to sell this and the project is still a work in progress, but the creator does put up the resources for creating your own. So that's it for this episode. I put links to all my sources in the description, so please check them out if you want further information. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, 
And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you next time.